Hey yogis, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to My Yoga Time. Thanks for joining me today. Today's yoga class is a super slow flow practice. We are moving ever so mindfully with the breath. And when we do so, it starts to create a moving meditation. So today I want you to do your best to let your breath initiate the movement. Begin the breath before the movement. Understand that each inhalation is creating space from the inside out. So take the time in those postures to feel the in-breath press on those lines of tension. Now we have two blocks for this class today. If you've only got one block, that's fine. You can just use the one. If you don't have any blocks, you can improvise with a thick book or a rolled up towel at the end of the class. At the beginning of the class, we'll be using the props to gently press down on. So if you've got another prop that you can improvise with, um, feel free to take a hold of that prop. When you're ready, let's begin. We're gonna start on all fours. So coming into your tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So practicing Ujjayi breath today, yogis, a little tone in the back of your throat. Let's place the tip of the tongue where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. So you will feel a little space between the top and bottom teeth, but the jaw is relaxed, the throat is gently toned. When you're ready, let's begin to inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone and the gaze. And as you exhale, start to round the spine. Feel free to continue with this motion, especially if you've concerns with your knees. Otherwise, as you exhale now, rounding the spine, lifting the palms and sitting back for a modified child's pose. Then as you inhale, ground those palms, come forward, move into your back bend. Exhaling to round, sitting back. Last round. And then once again, inhale into your back bend. This time, tuck your toes under. As you exhale, round the spine, lift up the hips, downward facing dog. Feel free to bend the knees and take a little walk, alternating one leg at a time. And then we'll start to walk those feet up towards the top of the mat. Taking a hold of your blocks or whatever props you're using and bring them to the high side next to the feet. We want the fingertips in line with the big toes. Feet are hip width apart. Little bend in the knees and as you inhale come halfway up. So we're lengthening the spine here. There's a little back bend. Then as you exhale and fold, bend the knees as much as you need to so your belly touches your thighs. We want to press the palms down and try and slide them forward. Inhale for length, the baby back bend. Exhale, squish the belly into the thighs, press the palms down and forward. One last one. Well done, yogis. From here, you can roll up to stand. all the way up and just giving those shoulders a little roll. So I'm just going to stand on the side so that you can see me better and we'll begin with the hands, the heart center, feet hip width apart. As you inhale, lift the arms up, cross your right leg behind the left, then as you exhale, palms meet at the heart center, bend the knees. And then as you inhale next, right leg is crossing a little tighter behind the left. As you inhale, lift the arms up, left hand takes a hold of the right wrist, side bend. And return to centre, uncross those legs, hands to prayer. Let's go the other side, inhaling, arms up, crossing the leg, exhaling, hands to prayer, bending the knees. Inhaling, left foot next to the right, right hand takes a hold of the left wrist, lift up, lean over. Exhale, return to the start. One more on each side. Inhaling. 
exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. And exhale, return to the start. Well done, yogis. So standing with those feet hip width apart, lower the hands down next to the hips. On your next inhalation, bring the arms straight up in front. Then as you exhale, folding forward, stacking your palms on top of your low back. Half lift as you inhale, draw the shoulders back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to come up, arms up in front. So we're going to do two more rounds. That was option one. If you've no concerns with your knees and hips, option two will bring in a little squat as well. Inhaling. Exhaling. Stack the palms. Half lift as you inhale. Option one, forward fold to exhale. Option two, bend the knees, lift the arms. You're squatting. And then on the inhalation, we're all coming to stand, arms up. Exhale, hands next to the hips. Third and final round, inhale. Exhale. Half lift. Either squat or forward fold. Stay where you are for an extra breath. And coming to stand, well done. Hands all the way down. Take your hands to the blocks if you like. Step your left leg back. We're coming into a low lunge. So left knee to the floor. Keep the back toes tucked under. A little tone in that left buttock. Feel as though you're trying to drag the knee forward. Let's inhale the arms up. And option to bend the elbows, cactus arms. So feel as though you're trying to squeeze the feet towards one another. Chin lift, throat forward. Well done. Bring the hands to the blocks, your preferred height. Modified variation of pyramid pose. Take the hips back. So left heel is off the mat, right toes are pointing up to the ceiling. And here we won't move the legs, but we will move the upper body. So inhaling onto the fingertips, back bend. Exhaling to fold. And let's bend in the right knee. Bring the left knee back down to the mat. Flip the left foot now over to the right so that the shin is parallel to the short side of the mat. Windmill the arms up, keeping a nice bend in this right knee. Let's take the elbow to the knee, left arm up, tuck the tailbone under and sink the hips down just a little. Deepen the pose by deepening the breath. And then we're reaching that left arm all the way over to the left, right arm up to the ceiling, straight in the right leg. Feel free to stay here, or let's hover that right foot up off the mat for just a moment. And then lower it down, right arm overhead, send the hips forward. Option one, hold it still. Option two, flow with your breath. So sitting down towards the heel, sweeping the right arm in front of the body. And then as you inhale, coming back up. Exhale to sweep. Inhaling up. And this time as you exhale, bring those hands to the floor underneath the shoulders. Keep the right foot out to the side. So we'll thread the needle here. Left arm underneath the right. Bring the ear to the mat or maybe to the block if you need. Right elbow is going to point up to the ceiling. Option to take chin mudra through your left hand, connecting index finger and thumb.
firming the left arm down into the floor. And lifting back up when you're ready. Let's step that right foot in and reposition yourself back onto the center of the mat. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, tuck the toes under, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine, lifting up, downward facing dog. This time we'll inhale, left leg up. Look forward, step through. Find your lunge, right knee to the mat. Toes can stay tucked under, inhale, arms up, cactus arms, a little tone through the right buttock. Well done, hands can lower, recruit your blocks. Pyramid pose, so left toes pointing to the ceiling this time. Inhaling, lifting the heart, find length in the spine. Exhale to lower and round. Well done, bending in that left knee, bring the right knee down to the mat. Pivoting that right shin now, move it over to the left so that it's parallel to the short side of the mat. Windmill the arms up and then left elbow to the knee, right arm above the head. Gently tuck the tailbone under and send the hips forward just a little. Create space in the body with your in-breath. Let's windmill that right arm down to the floor, left arm up, straightening the left leg now. Option to hold the leg up just for a breath before lowering down, reaching left arm overhead. Option to stay still or move with your breath. Exhale, take a seat, sweep the arm in front. Inhale to lift back up. And bringing both hands down now underneath the shoulders, threading the needle, right arm underneath the left. Ground down through the left palm and inhale to press yourself up, bringing that left leg in. Let's take a seat now, you can bring those legs out in front, props to the side. Hands to prayer and roll down. And once you touch down on the mat, we'll bend those knees. And winding, how practice down now. Let's come into a supported bridge pose. So press into the feet, lift up the hips. Take a hold of your block and place it underneath your bottom. So you might choose to go on the flat side or you can take it to the second height. Arms next to the body, palms to face the ceiling. Or of course you can take the arms overhead, holding opposite elbows with the hands. And witnessing the dance between the breath and the body.
If your arms are overhead, let's take one last inhalation, reach through the fingers and exhale the hands down. Let's pick up the heels and the hips, remove the block and coming down very slowly. Touching down to the mat, lift up the feet, press the hands into the knees, arms are straight and pull the knees back into the hands. You're imprinting your lower back here. So there's a little bit of core switching on. Well done, relax the shins, bend the elbows, draw the thighs into the chest and inhale to straighten the arm. Lower the right to the mat now, straighten the left leg. We'll take reclined pigeon, left ankle to the right knee. Now you might choose to stay here or you might like to lift up that right leg and take a hold of either the shin or interlacing the fingers behind the knee. And then lowering the foot down when you're ready, crossing left leg over the right. Hips move a little to the left, we're twisting. Bring your knees down to the right. Option to place your block underneath for support. Gently deepen the breath into your lower belly, your lower back. Let's inhale back to center, uncrossing those legs, centering the hips. We'll take reclined pigeon on the other side, right ankle to the left knee. Either hold it here or take a hold of the left leg. And when you're ready, preparing to twist, crossing the leg over, hips move a little to the right, and then knees coming down to the left. Gently deepen the breath to help unwind the spine. And coming back to center when you're ready. Moving into Shavasana now, if you've got those two blocks, you might like to place them underneath the thighs for support. Tucking the shoulders under and allowing the palms to face the ceiling. Let's close the eyes down for just a few moments. Softening the forehead. The tongue and jaw. And taking a moment to just be in this spaciousness, quietness. Inhaling a little deeper now. Wiggling toes and fingers. Following any urges to move or stretch. And 
And in your own time, feel free to roll onto your preferred side. And you might like to take a few moments there. Only coming up to seated when you're ready to continue on with your day. I hope that you enjoyed that slow flow practice yogis. If so, please do um, like and subscribe to the channel. If there's any class requests, feel free to make them in the comments below. Wishing you a lovely day.